to paraphrase a great song, what a long, strange trip it's been. Um, for me, this started in a booth at 2400 Diner, downtown Fredericksburg, within editorial editor Paul Akers, who spent the entire breakfast berating me on why didn't the city of Fredericksburg have a baseball team and stadium and the great community asset it would be, bringing the community together, giving us something to look forward to. And that kind of kicked off a rather long and I would say describe it as a roller coaster ride of an odyssey uh, to, to get us where we, we are here tonight. Uh, I truly believe that this will be an amenity to the community that will return to this city tenfold not just, I'm not even talking about revenue, just community building, hopefully working towards diversity as, as Councillor Fry has brought up and really truly bring us together. This has never been an issue for me as being a money maker. This is a community amenity that will greatly enhance our residents' quality of life and we have a way for, thank you to the team, for paying for it because we do have a lot of other things that we also have been talking about with regards to schools, transportation, and a lot of other topics. But I, I, I want to take this opportunity, again, for me, this has been going on, we talked about months, this has been a year for me, and I do want to thank, first off, if I could, Peter Kirk, who has been on this ride the whole time also, and as, as a lot of you know, I have a tendency to get very excited and very passionate about things, and in the numerous phone calls over the years, Peter has been the one that's kind of, calm down, calm down, there's a process, this is what you got to go through, and, and I thank you. For, for all those calls and all, all that assistance. And the education, of course, Peter has built stadiums and run teams in his career and has been a great help in kind of teaching me the, the way to go. And I wanna thank the Silver family for bringing the Peanuts here. Again, uh, I don't wanna, again, say this is not all about baseball, but it will be our team for our community to support. And I think it does have a lot of benefits to us with regards to employment in summer and opportunity, educational opportunities. We're talking about having more type of employment that helps people who are not necessarily going off to college but want to learn other things and go into other areas. And ultimately, I think this will be a legacy project for this council. I think it really will kickstart a lot of other things that we want to do in the redevelopment of the city. We, we talked about the vision of the city and what we want to be in 20 or 25 years from today and I think this will be one of those amenities that we will look back on and said, boy, we did we really did the right thing and moving this project forward and, and thank you to everybody here, including the staff, uh, to that made this all happen. I uh, appreciate all the work that's been done also by the silver companies and working out a lot of the details of this. Uh, truly a community effort and truly a community amenity that I think we will be enjoying from for years to come. And with that, I will move resolution approving the development and shared use agreement with Potomac Baseball LLC for the construction, operation, maintenance, and shared use of a multi-purpose stadium and celebrate, celebrate Virginia South with conditions. Second. Yeah, I, I ditto to Mr. Kelly on what he said and, and just to add all that in. And once again, I, I, I take losses uh, and learn from them. So I, if we lost a team a couple years ago, uh, we gained a lot of knowledge and, um, and thanks to city staff and everybody who, who, who had a big deal in this. So that's it for me, Mayor. Mr. Weathers. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Madam Mayor. I, I just want to uh, thank everyone and, and to say that, you know, I think a vast majority of the, of the folks in this community, in this region, agree with this decision. There are some that don't, and that's, a, that's a certainly a divide, uh, debatable uh, uh, subject. But uh, I firmly believe that that the deal with the Silvers uh, is a deal that will be good for the, not only, I, I think we will meet the financial goals and, and far exceed those in, in other ways, uh, along with uh, Mr. Kelly's uh, uh, comments of bringing the, uh, the, the city together. I just think it's, it's a great, a great deal for the city. And I want to thank uh, city manager and city staff who have, have pushed us. I mean, this is, I, I don't know, you know, we've got so much going in, in the city right now. I don't know how this city staff, with the, with the numbers that they have, do it. I, I honestly don't, because I know how much time we spend just trying to figure out the stuff. And they, they, they've already put that together. So uh, I, I just hope that, uh, that citizens uh, appreciate the staff that we have. And I want to especially thank the Silvers, uh, you know, Matt has been 
beating on our ears for 60 years or so. Thank you for bringing the deal to town that we could support so we won't have to listen to this again. <laughs> Sincerely, thank you all. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Uh, Councilor Devine, I believe I saw you, you first. first. No, Councilor Duffy? All righty. You were first. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Um, again, I'd like to echo some of the sentiments. I think, well, I do know that this property is one that we've looked at for a long time as being, um, you know, a place for something special to happen. And I think that it's been worth the wait. Um, and so I would also like to echo my um, thanks and appreciation to staff um, for all the hard work. I. I've asked a couple of staff members, you know, are you energized by all this going on in the city or is it wearing you out? And everybody seems energized. Everybody's, everybody's very excited. And um, there's been a lot of time and energy put into this, but it's, I think, going to come back at us, um, you know, multi times over. Um, so, I, again, I would like to um, express my appreciation to council members as well. It's, it, there has been a lot of extra reading, a lot of extra meetings. But, um, you know, it's, I think it's really been for the good of the city. And I think this is going to um, add a whole other dimension to um, what we have to offer. We know we're this wonderful small city, but we've got this wonderful big opportunity for folks to um, come and appreciate, spend some time, hopefully spend some money here as well. And um, I'm a longtime Yankees fan. As well as a Nats fan, you got to have a local. So, um, you know, I really look forward to having an opportunity to go to some games right here in our backyard. So, thank you to the Silbers, thank you to staff and council, and let's play ball. I just want to say this is a great day for the city of Fredericksburg. And I'd like to welcome Potomac Baseball LLC and your whole organization, which has been outstanding to work with. I'm going to get a little bit emotional here. <laughs> uh, all right, let's cast our votes and play ball. <laughs> and your motion passes 7-0. I think we've done some good work tonight. <laughs> um, Mr. City Attorney, I'll call on you for your update. Is that a promotion it's or a promotion? I am. Oh, yes. Uh, Ms. Weiss, would you like to speak? Please do. Approach the microphone. I'm sorry. I may get a little emotional, too. Um, I'm Lonnie Silverweiss. Thank you for allowing me to speak for you again. Although I enjoy doing this, I hope it's the last time. Um, I'm here representing... My family, uh, the Silvers, my dad is unfortunately a little bit ill at home, couldn't come up today. Um, my brother, Seth, our spouses and our children are at home watching this streaming live. Um, Peter Kirk, our invaluable friend and consultant. Um, everybody else who has worked on this project with us, um, the city attorney, the city manager, all of your staff, all of the city council, um, the bill and his entire Department of Economic Development, the silver companies um, have all worked tirelessly, tirelessly to get us to this moment. And you are all making a dream come true for our family. They really are. Thank you. Thank you. We are proud to be part of your dream. Very proud. It's a true, it's a true partnership. Yeah. Um, it's a two-way street. It's a true partnership, and it has been from the very beginning. Um, I do want to thank some of our staff who was here today, our general managers. Our pe we have people, uh, folks from our ticketing department. Would you have them stand? Would you guys stand up for a second? Um, Aaron, Aaron uh, Johnson and Brian Holland, our general managers. Will Darmstead, who is uh, in our stadium operations. Um, who's here? from our ticketing department, Matt LeBlanc and Alec Manriquez, um, our broadcaster media relations and corporate sales is Mike Weissman, and community relations and 
10 other things I can't even name right now. Bryce Jewell is here, and um, we have a few other folks uh, also on our staff who couldn't make it. Um, our family is a true family business. Our staff is part of our family. Everybody you see here will be here in Fredericksburg. Um, they're committed uh, to this project. They're committed to the future of our franchise and the team. And I just, I can't thank everybody in this room enough. Everybody, um, literally, it is a dream come true. And thank you. Well, thank you. We are truly proud to be part of your dream.